Well, working abroad might be the road less traveled, not to mention difficult and challenging in many ways, but it could also be the road most rewarding. Richard Moore is an OSU graduate who took an unlikely opportunity to go on a trip to Africa and since then has found himself unable to stay away for very long. Blaine Singletary tells us the story of his life's work in progress. Richard Moore was just like any undergrad in college, trying to figure out exactly what he was going to do in his professional life, meeting with his academic advisor. I went in and sat down in his office and we were talking about classes I was going to enroll in. I was wanting to switch to horticulture. We were kind of talking through some of that. But and whatever plans and dreams he had at the time, they probably didn't include Africa. And he just says, hey Richard, would you like to go to Sierra Leone? And that was just like this crazy thought or question to me because I didn't even know where Sierra Leone was. It just kind of one thing led to another and then I found myself in 2011 on our way to Sierra Leone. This OSU study abroad trip had these agricultural students working with a local orphanage to install drip irrigation systems and teach African students the basics of agriculture. Despite the hardships that came with it, those two weeks left a big impression on Moore. It changed my outlook, it changed my perspective on life, and after I came back I started thinking about it more, talking with my advisor more about it, and then just nine to ten short months later, I was leading another OSU trip back to Sierra Leone. And that was followed up by a move to Sierra Leone in August 2012 to chase a few business ventures. Unfortunately, those fell through. And as the Ebola outbreak began to pick up steam in 2014, it was clear that Richard and his new native wife, Christiana, wouldn't be able to stay there. And with his wife's visa request still being processed, they couldn't go back to the U.S. either. So. We really explored our options and what we could do, and we ended up booking two tickets to Ghana. Didn't really have anything to do in Ghana. We didn't know anyone in Ghana. It was just a safer country that we could travel to. It's just on a whim and a prayer. I mean, we... <laughs> and then, just days before he was set to depart. When I saw a Water 4 post that said Matt Hangen, the director of implementation, was going to be in Ghana. I had a crazy thought. I said I should call him and just see if there's any opportunities or possibilities for me to volunteer or work for Water 4 in Ghana for a few months while we're waiting for my wife to get her visa. That crazy thought became a long-standing relationship with Water 4 that continues to this day. Water 4 is a nonprofit based out of Oklahoma City that comes up with enterprise-based solutions to end the world water crisis. And what that means is we're training lo local entities, local entrepreneurs, business owners, and NGOs how to drill wells through training. So we're teaching these enterprises how to drill wells, how to go out into communities and be the change in their own community. Today, Richard is the implementation manager of Water4, overseeing their grassroots programs all over Africa. He and his wife live on a plot of land just outside of Stillwater, Oklahoma. And aside from his main job with Water 4, they run an Airbnb and sell homemade goods like jelly and jams to make a little extra money. Just looking around his home, it's not hard to see how much Sierra Leone has changed his life. And he says it could do the same for many others who were in his shoes years ago. I mean, right now, there's a, just so much opportunity in Africa. Africa is booming and it's expanding and it's growing. So there are opportunities to get into different, I mean, whether it be a nonprofit or a business. Many African leaders are making sure that major cities are connected by paved roads, and companies from all over the world are taking notice. Africa is connected by cell towers more than ever before, meaning several sectors, especially IT, are booming. So I can be out in the field in Africa drilling a water well and not see any houses, any communities, any roads, and I'm on 3G. So I'm drilling a well and I'm posting videos of the work that's going on while we're out in those villages or in those communities drilling a well. But none of this would have happened if he hadn't taken that opportunity in the first place. But I think that that first short-term trip is usually what will either hook somebody or turn them away from working abroad. I really felt called to move to Sierra Leone after that. It's definitely not the most frequent path taken, but I think to uh, a certain extent it would be the most rewarding path taken. 
uh, because of how eye-opening it is. Well, to find out more about Water 4 and how you can get involved with their mission all over Africa, we have more information on our website at okhorizon.com.